Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as we are playing with Emperor Adam of Britannia. So quite a few things for us to, to deal with here at the beginning of the episode. Well, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take some decisions. I want to invite more knights. I feel like our knight situation isn't great. We also have the ability to sell the minor titles, uh, which we got from that perk. We're probably not going to do that one. Instead, we're just going to extort our, extort our subjects here. So let's go ahead and do that one. And we could call a hunt as well. Uh, we got enough stuff going though, so we'll wait until we get those completed. Uh, in our prison, I've already arranged several of these, so we'll see those pop up here soon. However, one thing we absolutely have to do is deal with that woman who... That countess. I don't know where the hell she's at. Here she is. We need to deal with this dang countess who embarrassed us last episode. Uh, we have a prisoner, and then we were in the middle of a conflict, so we weren't able, able really to, to deal with her. Now, I I think this would be tyrannical, uh, revoking her title. Oops, I'm trying to click on revoking title. I'm clicking every, on everything but that. See, so yeah, I think this would be tyrannical, although I don't know that he would care at all. Though, what would we want to do with that title? I'm not entirely sure. Which, which one of the titles we'd take here? These are all in Mercia, so we could take these two. Could also take that one as well and grant that to somebody else. Get a little bonus there. Kind of punish her. I feel like she needs to be punished in some form or fashion. Uh, maybe we'd torture her after what she she did to us. It was kind of torturous, I suppose. I, you know what? I think that might be exactly what he'd do before he did anything else. He'd probably torture her. Yeah, that seems about fit in for Adam. <laughs> oh, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and torture her. She's not going to be happy about that. So I don't know if we'll ever let her out now. Uh, you can still revoke her title, though. That's always an option as well. That That is tyrannical, though. So we've done that. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we could get another uh, type of scheme going, personal scheme. Uh, so let me just take a look and see how all of our counselors feel about us. Most of them seem to not like us very much. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and improve relations with one of them here. So I'm sway him. 95% chance of success there. So we take into care of that, and then I want to say there's something else I want to do. Oh yes, uh, I wanted to mention what we're going to do about King Roger. So there's been some disagreements in the comments about what we should do with him. Uh, I've had a lot of people say, you know, that you know he's very powerful, he's far too powerful, and would say that you know Adam would no way allow somebody so powerful to to exist in his realm like that. Which I tend to kind of agree with that assessment. That you know. With, with the way he is, as arrogant as he is, I don't know that he'd want to share so much power with King Roger. And then on top of that, I would assume that Adam's about as frustrated as I am with the fact that we didn't gain anything from that uh, from that inheritance of our mother. Our mother had a vast inheritance. Again, she owned like half of France, and we didn't get anything from that like we got the two duchy titles which are useless because they're just duchy titles without land and one county that's all we got out of everything we were supposed to get because of duke roger getting this title so i imagine that he's quite irritated about that uh, so i kind of tend to agree with that assessment that adam would do something about roger and, and probably try and arrest him we have a 38 percent chance but i think he'd still try uh, we could also just try and revoke the title, but I think that has about as much of a chance of success. Yeah, 27% chance, so overall it's a very low chance for either of those options. However, I've had several people in the comments say that we should keep them around. Uh, I haven't really seen any arguments for roleplay reasons of keeping them around. It seems like more than anything, just keep them around so that he's a problem for our son. Uh, he won't be a problem for our son because he's going to get... You know, he's going to die well before our son. And as for his son, I assume his son would rebel on us. I mean, you don't typically have, like, very powerful vassals like this, you know, exist for very long before they rebel. So I assume when his son inherits, he'll rebel against us. So I think, I don't I don't think that this king of France will ever last until Adam dies. Remember, Adam's only 37 years old. Uh, so I do not expect that the king of France situation will still be around. So I don't, I don't think that's a, a good argument, you know, just to have him as a problem. For our son and besides i don't really know why adam would do that anyways now that could be justified other than just people wanting conflicts in the beginning of our reign and i think that would also be quite foolish of adam as well to like leave this problem that's clearly a problem for his son which when he inherits he will not have twenty thousand or twenty five thousand uh, soldiers to deal with this he's probably not gonna have very many men at all to deal with a very very powerful vassal i, I just don't see adam waiting to deal with this uh but 
I, I do see both arguments. You know, there are two. You know, there's a disagreement here. So what I think we're going to do is we will not do anything about King Roger. We'll let him keep the title. We'll let him live his life as the King of France. But when he dies, then maybe Adam will want to go ahead and deal with this uh, with Prince Roger here. Uh, we'll see, you guys. We'll see what we end up doing there. A lot of things could happen in between now and then because. I don't know when he's gonna die. Uh, as far as like his his current age now, he, he's 62 and, and his his health is already ailing. So yeah, he might die soon. So we've tortured her. Uh, why complicate matters? There's nothing like the good old rack. The sound when bones and sinews snap is quite unforgettable, but not as unforgettable as the pain Countess Aline is soon to experience. All right, so she is not having a good time of it. Uh, so we got the extort subjects. So these are the peasants that we can extort, which, by the way, I did forget to do this. There's so many things I needed to do here. We need to move our marshal to increase the control over here. When we had that rebellion, we did lose control. So we need to go ahead and have him do that uh, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, the peasants of the earldom seem to be doing better than one might expect from the taxes I've collected there. An extra contribution to my treasury should be no, or should do no harm. Oh, they will complain, but is that not what peasants always do? They will live, live through this, I am sure of it. Uh, so because they, they can do whatever they please as long as they get my gold, why are they never grateful for what they do have? Or it is not worth upsetting them right now. Okay, so I think we might end up doing this one here. This would reduce the control by a hundred. Good God. Or we say uh, this one here, this would result in a popular opinion hit, but those guys just rebelled, so I don't think that'll be a problem. So yeah, we'll do this. We'll get the dread as well, although we don't really need it. Uh, we've got quite a bit of dread. We did get all these ransoms accepted. Not for as much money as I'd like with some of these guys, but that one uh, little baby count there, I, I don't think he would have gotten that money anytime soon. So now we're waiting to hire those knights when they get here. What we could do is go ahead and invest a bit more money in the men in arms. We still have one more slot open as well, but I kind of want to fill these out first. Yeah, I think we're going to fill out the ones that we have for right now, and then we'll uh, we'll get another one. Uh, but yeah, let's get all these guys filled out, looking at where we're at. We've gotten the light horseman done. Let's finish up the light footman then. And let me do the pikeman as well. And then I suppose we'll do the, the bowman. And is that all of them? Yeah, except for the, the heavy infantry. So we'll go and tick them up as well. They're kind of a bit more expensive, but I think that should be all of them, if I'm not mistaken, with the exception of those. Which those are pretty cheap, so we can do that right now as well. There we go. Uh, so very nice. We'll see how much money that's going to cost us. A secret has been exposed. Uh, so this is for King Roger. All right, so he has a, a secret that was exposed. He had an affair with his lover. I do not see what the fuss is about. It's not as if lust as, as, as if lust is an unnatural affliction. All right, so nothing happened here. It's interesting we didn't have an option to arrest anybody. Is that because we're a fornicator ourselves? An adulterer? Uh, excuse me, an adulterer? Maybe. All right, so let's take a look at this knight. He's pretty dang decent. So let's go ahead and recruit him to court. Just need to get these knights a bit better because I've not been impressed with our, our overall knight numbers. We almost have this county converted. Good God, that took forever. <laughs> that took a long time, guys. Uh, our nephew was unfortunately killed in a siege. Oh, no. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so it looks like he was down here. All right, remember, our dynasty is just everywhere. All over France, uh, we have our dynasty. Because yeah, our dynasty is set to inherit here. That is the youngest of our nephews. Uh, so he's still got two additional nephews to inherit all this land here. Which again is quite a bit of land. It's a big chunk of of Leon's total territory. I want to say we might have... Maybe not. I was thinking we might have another one of our dynasties. Uh, one of our dynasty members here, but that doesn't look like that's the case. Uh, we can take a look at our, our current... The spread of our, our dynasty here. Okay, so because he is part of our dynasty, but he's a different house, it does end up looking different here, but that is all part of our dynasty. It's a bummer they don't have the ability to just take a look at the dynasties rather than the house. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not an option. Okay, so yeah, again, we do control our dynasty, controls all this here as well as Verona over here. I'm surprised I didn't see them over there. 
Oh, they're over there. Just didn't, uh, didn't see that. Okay. All right, so let's let this play a bit. Try to make some good progress here in this episode. Uh, and we have finally converted them. Fantastic, it took a lot longer than I was expecting, but we finally got it done. Uh, so there still are plenty of, ooh, we need to take a look what's going on there. Uh, Cause they couldn't possibly have been converted. Hmm, they might have to look at who, who owns these titles. So yeah, we have the low lords down here. I think we'll probably have him work on a, a claim instead. He's been working on that for a long time, guys. You know what, let's get rid of this, this view here. Uh, but yeah, he's working on uh, converting that county for a very long time. It just takes so long to do. Uh, so let's instead do uh, the, the claim. I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna do it just yet. What I'd really like to do is just try and get like a claim on his entire kingdom. I don't think we'll be able to get one uh, for the kingdom though. Yeah, not gonna accept. Okay, not surprising. So you can't do that. So I suppose the only option would be doing it county by county as we've been doing it. Uh, if we get an additional county here though, then we can take this title, which of course is the title. Uh, we can usurp it. Uh, this is the title of our rival. I'd like to, before we kill him, I'd like him to know that I've taken his titles and they won't be going to his heir, which is his younger brother. I want him to know that he's not getting any titles. <laughs> <laughs> nothing's nothing's gonna stay in his dynasty so yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and try and get another county here because I want to say because there's six counties here we have to get four of them in order to be able to get the usurp it so it's gonna take a little while yeah a lot longer than yeah, that's unfortunate all right well I guess we'll just go ahead and take one of these then to try and kind of merge up to the here I'm just looking at like what the uh the development is in all of these, and I'm thinking we'll go for this one right here. That kind of kind of connects us. We have the whole coastline here. So that's the one we'll go for. Let's go into fabricated claim there. Uh, we can't even declare war on him again anytime soon because of the uh, yeah, unfortunately because of the truce. So that's not an option. Uh, there is the potential to declare war on her here to increase our lands in Ireland. Yeah, so I guess we could do that, but yeah, we don't have a, a claim, of course. So we need to, like, find somebody who has a claim, and then I suppose that would be the best way to do it. And we'd want to take maybe this one here. We see if we could just get, yeah, the whole, whole duchy here. See who all has claims to it, and see if any of them want to to come to our lands. So yeah, since he's set to inherit, he's probably not going to be interested in coming to our land. This guy's not set to inherit anything, so what... If we offered, yeah, it looks like he's not willing to come. All right, so that's a bummer. You know, that's one thing I've noticed is that people are really just not very inclined to come to your court uh, in this one, in CK3. And I think that's because of the whole guest system. Uh, so they made it, they're just, it's a lot less likely for anybody to, you know, accept coming to your court. So I, I suppose we can take a look and see if we can declare war on him for anything. I know we have a lot of people who have claims. Uh, so we'll just look for the one that has the best claims. Uh, we have this one here. We'll see if they have any other. Uh, that's a whole duchy there. So yeah, that's a possible war. Uh, just looking at other possible wars here. We got that entire duchy there. Uh, I think we'll probably go after that duchy if these are the only options. See, I guess we're going to do this one here. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll increase our lands by three counties. Very, very nice. Uh, not a lot of troops to worry about here. I don't know if we let this play long enough to be able to raise all of our troops up. Probably. Let's go and declare war. Alright, so we declared war there. Uh, we'll see if we want to uh, bring any of our allies in. Uh, probably. I assume we would. Uh, so those are more wars that we could declare here. Of course, the Upper Burgundy and then the Holy Roman Empire. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull in our allies. Uh, some of these, of course, will not be able to, to join this conflict. Uh, she would, though. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and have our wife come in. And we'll see who else is willing to come in. We've been at least joining his conflicts. So we'll bring him in. And then we have the Duke here. Doesn't look like he can come into this conflict. So, yes, that's his, his lord. So, of course, he can't. He can't join us. That's not an option. We have house members we can pull in. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we'll pull them in as well. Can't pull... We could pull him in, but there's no reason to. It just results in him not doing well. Uh, I think that's it. Besides the young uh, petty queen here. Yeah, we'll bring her in. I, I think she has some troops. Yeah, she got 2,000. She's not that far away either. So just trying to get this war done quickly. See if there's anything else we might want to look at while we're in here. Can, of course, demand payments from these characters here. They don't really have any gold, though. Not enough. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and uh, get this war started. We're gonna want to move our rally points, which I think is still up here. Yeah, let's go and move our rally point. Let's bring it down here. We wanna attack down in that area, so we'll, we'll raise them all up right here. It'll take about three weeks for them to rise up. And our allies have joined the conflicts, of course, which is excellent. So I don't know if he had any allies himself. I'm not seeing, yeah, it looks like he doesn't have any alliances. Curse Undone, so she has died, that was one of her rivals. Unless we've lost more stress, not that we had any. He lives a pretty stress-free life, honestly. Not too many worries for old Adam. Alright, so they're all joining. Let's see where we're at here. We've got ten more days to get fully gathered up here. There we go, excellent. Uh, so, we did finish up another building in London. Let's go ahead and get something else upgraded here. I guess we'll do this one next. Alright, excellent. So none of these troops are all raised up. Let's go ahead and get them all split up. And this isn't France, so we could probably have... Oh, let me take that back. I was going to say we'd have slightly larger armies here. But yeah, it looks like here in the southern area, it's not the case. Alright, so I was going to pull out most of these levies here. You know what, actually, let's do this differently, guys. Let's go ahead and remove this commander here. And now we're at the point where it's just easier to pull out the number of troops that we want for our main army. Uh, because yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, just easier to do it this way. And when it comes to just our men in arms, we almost have 4,000 men. So we're not going to need very many levies uh, to get the, the count up. Uh, we'll just bring in a few, I think. Oh, we do need the knights in, by the way. This is going to be, I guess that's one reason not to do it this way. Because then you got to bring each one of the knights in. Yeah, that's kind of a pain. All right, so maybe this isn't the better way to do it. I think it'd probably be easier to pull the levies out. Yeah, because the knights are way down here at the bottom. All right, guys, so we got them all split up. I'm going to start doing, like, uh, armies of 3,000 just because we have such huge armies here. And we had issues down here because we just... Yeah, that Those 2,000-man armies just couldn't defend themselves effectively. Now, I don't think uh, 2,000 men is going to defend... Or, excuse me, 3,000 men are going to defend themselves any better than 2,000 when they're facing an army of 10,000 like we were down there. But, yeah, I, th I think it'll be helpful uh, having them in slightly larger armies. All right, so let's go and go after these locations here. Uh, so we want all the ones that are in the duchy. And these are level three right there, and then this one's a level four. So that's the one we're gonna put our main sieging army in, which I think is one of these. There we go, it's these guys right here. Oops, I always mix these up <laughs> between the shift and the, the control. All right, so let's go and get these guys moving over to, I think I sent it was, I said it was this one here. Might have been this one, though. Uh, he's going to take double attrition there, so maybe I was looking at it wrong. We'll go there. Uh, so he'll take that for us. And then let's just get the rest of these. It doesn't really matter where these ones go. Just get them moving. And these guys can go here. And then what do we have, like, two more over here? Uh, maybe we should go after those two, then, in this particular case. Yeah, let's go for those two. And... Them going over that one. Oh, we got one right here that needs to be taken as well. All right, excellent. So we get all these guys moving. I don't see any enemy troops just yet. A lot of troops over there, though. Ten thousand men, but I think that's part of this conflict here still. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, well, we got this disfigured knight here. Yeah, let's get him. He seems pretty darn good, despite the fact that he. It's disfigured. 40 gold uh, for a decent knight. I think we have one more knight that we can get. Uh, we do have a betrothal that can be done. That's the one we just got. Uh, looks like she's a giant. <laughs> wow, this could create some very, very good children uh, that are just fantastic knights. So yeah, let's go ahead and send that proposal off. All right, guys, so we got all our sieges going. Uh, apparently I sent uh, these guys over here. I didn't mean to do that. It's my bad, guys. 
Let's go ahead and bring them over here so they can more properly support the rest of these troops. Did I do this again? God damn it. I am holding control and it's just not working. <laughs> All right, so I think he's gonna go there, so we might wanna send these guys over here now instead. All right, and our hook did expire on our lover. That's okay, we weren't gonna use that against her. And he did pull somebody in. No, he just won a war. Okay, so he won the war over here. I don't know what results that had, because yeah, he already held all this territory here. Was it a defensive conflict? It might have been. It looks like it was over Valencia, actually. Okay, so it was actually over here. I see. So he did end up increasing his lands further. And one of the, the problems with us fighting Leon is when we fight him, we are weakening him, which he's the one that's currently pushing forward the boundaries of Christendom. So I don't know. That's one thing I think Adam would consider. Uh, let's go and get this upgraded. I think that's the last one we can upgrade. Okay. So yeah, we got many, many sieges going. Looks like he did not take that that down. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. He just feels like he has to be attached to us, apparently. So yeah, we'll just do these sieges, and that's how we'll win the conflict. I'm not going to chase down his armies. And she left a conflict. I think that's the one with the Hungarians. All right, just kind of keep a keep a look on on all of our lands. Make sure we're not getting like enemies coming over and attacking any of our territory. Uh, we did finish up this siege here. Excellent. So yeah, we got more prisoners. Let's just go through these because we actually are kind of running a little bit low on money now. So we'll go through some of these. Uh, I don't, I don't think we've, we haven't taken anybody that's going to have any effect on this. Fifty gold here. Just nobody has the damn money that we want, man. To take the duchess here. Yeah, fifty gold there. Uh, I guess we can keep her locked up because I think she's soon going to be a well. She'll be a vassal of vassal. All right. Well, let's see what else we can do here. See if there's any other good options. Really, there's there's not. Uh, nobody has any damn money. And uh, we already have dreads, so they don't really need to kill anybody. We have her in here, and I never did take her title. I said I might take one, and I think we will. I think we're going to take one of her titles here. Uh, which, I mean, this, oh yeah, that's right, it's tyranny. That's the reason why we didn't take it. All right, so we will wait to take it until we're in a better position with our opinion with everybody, because we've already done a couple tyrannical actions recently. Uh, we do have all the sheiks here. We have to keep them locked up until that war's done, because uh, one of those is is an heir, so we're getting a plus ten percent. So I don't want to give them up until that conflict is done. That's kind of our way of helping out our ally, just keeping them locked up. Obviously, he's never getting out of prison. Yeah, you know what? I just think we're just gonna have a, a prison full of prisoners. I guess that's what prisons are for. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll just keep them all locked up. Oh, we can move, move this guy here. It looks like we have an ally and take care of that one for us. Uh, so let's go to a different location. Again, looking for the larger ones here. Looks like we got some level threes we can go to. I guess we'll go to this one here. And another peasant faction created against us. Uh, but and this one would would get an ultimatum here in 49 months, regardless. And we did get the last knight. Let's take a look at him. He's not too shabby. We'll go and hire him. So hopefully we should have most of our knights above 10 prowess, but maybe not. Uh, we did get the stewardship. Uh, so that allows us to get the last one of this branch, uh, which of course, I guess we can take a look at that trait real quick. See exactly what it gives us here. Plus two stewardship. And then the plus 15% on the holding taxes. That, I think, will actually increase our domain by one. Maybe not. I was thinking it would. Yeah, I thought it would because we got to 18 here. Yeah, that really should increase our domain. I'm a little bit surprised that it hasn't. Maybe it hasn't registered yet. Uh, so we've completed the high tents here. Uh, let's go and get one more building again. I think we're going to go for all uh, all benefits that give us you know realm bonuses here. And we're broke. Okay, yeah, uh, we are broke right now, so can't can't do anything there. We have swirl, uh, swayed Earl Aubrey. Uh, I said swirled him. <laughs> we swirled him, guys. Do we want to keep it going? Uh, yeah, he still doesn't like us very much. We'll keep it going, guys. All right. Uh, so, is there anything else we need to take care of? Uh, let, let's actually go ahead and I almost want to sell the minor titles. It feels like something that Adam might be willing to do. There are some some serious penalties to this here. So yeah, we, but I, I feel like it might be something that he would do. So let's go ahead and do that. We can also hold a feast as well, so let's do that. 
All right, so we'll see what happens on those events there. And uh, greetings, my liege. I, though I know I risk your ear or your err, uh, my honor demands I speak up. Your offer to give titles in exchange for gifts is driven by nothing but base greed. That is plain to see. My honor comes from nobility and not my wealth, but for you it seems to be otherwise. All right, so we're going to get the shameful behavior here because of that, reducing our prestige and reducing our opinion with our all of our vassals. And we might end up becoming a rival with our chancellor here. Let's see if that ended up happening. No, uh, he's not our rival. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get something instructed here. And now that we actually have the money, we're going to get the uh, hunting grounds building up. All right. All right, so we just finished up that siege. Uh, so let's go ahead and go... Uh, see, I'm not sure what our allies are doing here. I thought he was going to go after this one, but that ended up not being the case. Uh, so we'll just send... Let's see, where else can we go here? I guess we can go over down to this province. This one makes uh, the most sense, I think. All right, so yeah, no enemy arm. Oh, never mind, let me take that back. Here comes the enemy right now. So let's go ahead and get our troops moving over here to support. Because uh, I assume they're going to attack one of these armies here. Although those ones are kind of large, so we'll want to see what happens. All right, so we're having our feast, of course. And we did finish up another siege, which is right here. Uh, currently in this conflict, we're at 20% for the war score. All right, so his armies are moving north. And uh, seen this event many times. And of course, we now have a new option since we are eager reveler. So we'll do that one. Gains us prestige, and of course we get that uh, little bonus per month, which is helpful since we did get just hit, just get hit with that uh, penalty to our monthly prestige. So we finish up here. Let's go and have this army now. Go take this one. We're at 33 percent now, and it looks like they have see they're sieging one of our provinces now. Might have to come down here and fight them to get that that forest bonus, and we do outnumber them. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna end up doing, guys. Let's march down here and attack these guys the right woman for the job. Although there are many ways in which we do not get along, I must confess that my wife has done a very good job at the feast. Dabgila has ensured that the food arrives on time and the guests are all seated in the right place, and everyone seems content. With her next to me at the great table and celebrations about to begin, I let her know that I appreciate her hard work in preparation of this feast. Uh, so that's gonna give us that bonus right there, plus we lose more stress. And a faction has disbanded. Okay, a curse undone, so, oh wow, he had smallpox in our prison, <laughs> okay, so yeah, it seems he probably died from, no, bled out after a lengthy torture session, okay, so apparently we were still torturing him every day, he's a lunatic, and uh, yeah, he does, of course, have smallpox as well, wow, we were in close contact with him, that is risky, so he has finally died, the bully of Adam uh, has finally died. I mean, quite pleased with that. We've taken him out. All right, so not one day too soon. That was like our lifetime rivalry right there. And got more prisoners in our siege, of, or from that siege. Uh, we'll go and take a look and see if any of these can give out some money. And I, I don't think any of these are impacting, but I was like checking, yeah, just to make sure. All right, so let's go and get the 300 gold there. That'll be helpful. Uh, we also don't want to let anybody out who's a knight who might end up fighting us on the battlefield. There's only 53 gold to be had there anyway. Not enough. Yeah, these people are all broke. How about this guy here? Uh, it's just a favor. That's all we're going to get from this guy. Oh, you know what? We can actually hire him. Yeah, I think we would hire him. Let's go and hire him and make him into a knight. That is that peasant leader. All right, so we have finished up the siege here, so let's go ahead and move to the next location. Uh, I'm trying to see where that would be. We got a lot of provinces over here to take. And I suppose that's where we'll go next. We'll go over to this one. It's a level two, so it shouldn't take too long to do. And of course, because of that, uh, we've gotten the smallpox out because he was the only one with smallpox. But wouldn't that have been interesting if that was after everything we did to our rival? All the things we did to torture him because of something they did as a child. Uh, wouldn't it be really interesting and, and really just sting of karma if he had 
gotten Adam sick with smallpox before he died. Uh, that would have been extremely fitting. Uh, it didn't happen though, but I think that would have been an interesting development. Of course you will accept. All right, so let's come down here. It looks like it'll be five months for them to complete the siege there. Uh, oh yes, we do have to cross the fort here, so yeah, it's better to go around this way. And our guests depart, and we thank our wife for doing a fantastic job. Uh, secret has been exposed here. All right, so we will have to imprison her. I mean, we'll lose a devotion, but we already, I mean, <laughs> we don't have any devotion. And this would be imprisoning her. All right, well, we'll maybe we'll take a look at her. She is pregnant. Take a look, see if there's anything we can get from her. We'll see if we can ransom her first. Uh, we actually could ransom her. Prince Bishop would be willing to do so. All right, that's what we'll do. Uh, just seeing if that was, I don't know why he's hes willing to pay so much money for her, but yeah, we'll take that 300 gold, nice. Uh, so that's another 300 gold we got there from that ransom. And just making sure we don't have any troops. Yeah, this guy here needs to move. Uh, so let's have him go, I guess he can go down to I'm not entirely sure. Right here, I think, is the, the next location. Could also go to this one. Yeah, let's go to this one. Uh, we did finish up that siege. We're now at 54%. So getting the rest of the sieges that we currently have going, and oh, it looks like we got caught caught somebody in a battle here. 2,000-something uh, men. And we have very, very good disadvantage, uh, very, very good advantage, excuse me, because they just recently disembarked. So they, that's why I didn't see them, because they just landed here. So that's big for us. We'll kill a lot of troops now very easily because of that. So yeah, she lost her whole army here, uh, 2,600 men. Not bad at all, only losing 50 men. And a, a big part of that, of course, was because she did just recently disembark. She wasn't paying attention. Did something normally, it would be me the one doing that. <laughs> Not paying attention where the enemy army is. All right, so he is going to take off. He's not interested in fighting us. Right, let's go ahead and get something else upgrading here. Making pretty good money uh, overall, uh, considering the fact that like how much our armies cost us, and we're still in the positive. That's pretty damn good. Make very good money. And I mean, a big part of it is just because we have the money to improve all of our all of our buildings here. Uh, we don't have any money to, to build anything now, though, so we'll have to wait. Uh, is there any other way for us to get some money? No. Okay. Uh, do we not have... Yeah, we do have physician. Okay. I saw the, the search for court physicians. I was thinking we didn't have one. Uh, so we could go and attack here. This would just be the... Yeah, the... the, the what is it? Like 800 troops that was there? Uh, so if we went around this way, I think we might take attrition. Maybe not. Let's, yeah, but this is really the only way to get around here. All right, so we'll go that way. We'll just kind of slowly follow behind them. And we were able to increase control here. Excellent, so that's a bit more money. Uh, as far as what we'll have him do next, I suppose he can continue to organize levies, though we don't really need that. Let's let's do the train commanders, and we'll have him do that. Maybe we'll get some knights improved. All right, looks like there's been some wars here. You know what, let's go ahead and actually pass the high crown authority. Uh, let's do that. It's been, we've been able to do that for about oh, about eight years, I think, and we just haven't done it yet. So let's do that. That's going to piss off all of our vassals a bit more, uh, but will result in, in more money and levies for us. We're at 25,000 total levies now. All right, so we need to follow this guy here. Did finish up another siege. Uh, so I think it was this one right here. Now it's 62%. We're going to have to do a lot of sieges to get this this victory here. All right, we got that one going as well. Our acquaintances is dying. All right, so I don't know where they're going. I'm trying to avoid taking attrition here. They're moving much quicker than we are, though. Might attack those guys right there. Uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, so that would be a, a decent one if we get this done here before he attacks. Because then we have the forest bonus, but I don't think we're going to. I don't think we'll get there in time. Uh, let's take a look and see if there's anything we need to be aware of over here. We've got more payments we can demand. Uh, so we'll take a look at, at all these. Hmm. Okay, so that's the, the boy here. 
I almost want to see if we can't get him to accept a vassalization. So that means that we do have this under our control now. Our dynasty, by the way. I'd be, I'm wondering if, well, yeah, I guess he's already under a king. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, we can't, can't do that. Yeah, I suppose there wouldn't be anything else to do with him. So might as well just get the payment for the hook here. Get that 300 gold. So we'll do that. Uh, I know we had a few other ones we could do. We got the Duke Richard here because those two titles were split uh, between these two brothers here. Uh, he does not have as much gold though, so we will not do it with him just yet. We will wait. She doesn't have the gold either. Yeah, he doesn't really have it either. Okay, uh, so let's see if there's any other any other options for making a little bit of money. Of course, we got all those people we can ransom. Oh, all right, we got the designate a guardian for one of our children. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. We just see if there's anything else we want to do here. Nah, I think we're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next child. We've already done William, uh, so this is our daughter, who's who's also a bastard. She's working on intrigue right now. Ah, sure, why not? Yeah, we'll have her do intrigue. And as for a guardian, yeah, I assume we'll go ahead and assign a guardian for her. I'm not entirely sure who will have educator. I, I doubt we have anybody here, so we'll probably just do, I, I think we'll continue doing our, our vassals. I think that's the best way to do this because we get that nice opinion boost, so it's always helpful. Uh, so let's just go through our vassals and see who's got the good intrigue and learning that we can give her to. Uh, so we could always give her to King Roger uh, since he has you know, the good, in, decent entry with the decent uh, learning. And I think he's about to lose the, the bonus that we're getting from having him having one of our children. So could do him. He'd be a decent option. We'll go ahead and see if there's anybody that's a little bit better uh, than him. There's Earl Henry. This is, of course, a different Earl Henry. I don't know if he has any of our kids. I don't think so. I suppose it makes sense. Yeah, we'll, we'll do him. We'll let him educate our child. All right, excellent. And he should agree to this. Yeah, all right, fantastic. Oh, maybe I should have had him convert the child because I think she is, yeah, she's Irish. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should have had to convert the culture of the child. Too late now though. That's fine, it's not a big deal. All right, so we're at 63% here. They are fighting us here and I don't think we're gonna arrive in time. Uh, to help out. Yeah, I don't think so, guys. Maybe. We'll see. We are, we are getting our allies coming here. Yeah, so... Perhaps. We want to make sure this is the win, though. There we go. And right, we did also finish up a siege. That's right here. Uh, so let's go and have them move to the next location. I suppose we'd have them go here as well. Alright, 78% now. And this is without this battle. We do have the... the the disadvantage here for much of this battle, unfortunately. Uh, another faction was created against us, but yeah, we should win this now. Yeah, it looks like we have good odds here. There's a lot of troops that we threw into that battle overall. It's over 10,000 troops. Of course, they were, again, never together. Uh, so we did take about the same amount of casualties just because he was able to fight nothing but levies for quite some time. Uh, we'll see if what happened in this event here. Looks like we killed this guy while he was running from battle. Okay, and uh, capturing some people as well. All right, excellent. Uh, so let's go and take a look and see. These guys still have troops here, uh, so we'll send them to another province after they finish. Uh, let's go and have these guys go somewhere else. Let's see where we want to put them. Oh, I still only have. Damn it! <laughs> I want just that unit selected. Looking for somewhere where we can put them. Uh, I guess we'll go right here. Won't take any attrition there. All right, the Liberty War has ended. That was that Hungarian one. Uh, which we didn't get involved at all. Uh, we're sitting at 96% for the war score, so we are almost done. We did finish with these guys, but I don't really see any reason to, to move any further. Yeah, because the war is, is now over. Uh, so let's go ahead and enforce our demands. And we did further increase our total territory here. We now have the new the new duke here. Uh, does he have other titles, or he just hasn't moved yet? Okay, no, he has that county. That's the one he possesses. Okay, so that's the county he already had, and then we just got him this duchy title. So now he has all of them as his uh, vassals. All right, so let's go to move all our troops. We could, of course, come down here and, and again try and help, but yeah, I feel like they've lost that conflict. I'm I'm done trying to help them in that. So 
Let's get all our troops back into our own land since we are still at peace here. So I want to say, or excuse me, at war. So yeah, it won't let us disband since we're at war and our troops aren't in our home territory. So let's get all these back into our home territory so we can get them disbanded. I suppose this is a little bit quicker over here. And our first child came of age, Sabella. Uh, she was the uh, uh, the oldest. She was a bastard child we had uh, with the Duchess of Albany here. That, of course, was the the first spouse of our rival, uh, and, and he killed her uh, when she was executed. And so we could go and arrange... Uh, she'd become a flamboyant trickster. Uh, so we could go and arrange a, a marriage for her. Uh, I think we will. Yeah, with... I'm thinking like a vassal, perhaps. Like one of our vassals. Arrange a vassal, uh, arrange a marriage for one of our vassals. Uh, she, oh, she's not in her court. Uh, so we could invite her to court. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So that we can arrange the marriage. No reason for her to be up here anymore. And this is... Who is this? How is he related to the... This is his brother. So this is the brother of our formal rival, and he absolutely, absolutely hates us. And not only because he wants some of our titles, but because, of course, he tortured his brother. All right, so bring all our troops in here, and then we'll just disband them. Again, yeah, no real, real reason to keep them around here. All right, excellent. So yeah, the only war we're still in is that one down here. We just gotta wait for that to to finish up. Uh, we do have more prisoners, of course, that we can always deal with, and I think that's exactly what we'll do right now. See if any of them have the money uh, for us here. Uh, it doesn't look like any of them are going to have. Well, she's okay. Uh, 160 here? Yeah, we'll take that. That's better than nothing. You're not always going to get the, the full 300. I'd like to at least get 100 for any of these, though. And she's too broke for that. We got 62 here. Yeah, I mean, uh, most of these people are just too damn broke. Could always just execute somebody, though. Yeah, we'll execute her. That'll give us that 15 dread. Get us back up to 100 dread. All right. I'm getting a little bit more money here. Now, I don't know if we were able to build in all of our territories. I, I think there was, yeah, there was at least that province there we weren't able to build. And we didn't have the money at the time. Uh, so let's go ahead and upgrade one of these here buildings. I suppose we'll do the, uh, yeah, we'll do the walls and towers. All right, excellent. So yeah, really building up our territory by quite a bit. Now we just earn an insane amount of money when we don't have our, our vassals, or excuse me, we don't have our levies raised up. We make very good money, uh, 70, almost 77 gold per month, not bad at all. Uh, our second daughter has come of age. This is our first legitimate daughter, Ailey. Remember, we already have the, the marriage arranged with her here in Hungary, and it looks like his brother has not yet died. He hasn't had any children, though. Maybe we're going to help him along. Because remember, this is a matrilineal marriage. Uh, let's see how she did in her education. Uh, she she is an astute intellectual, so she did a very good job. All right, fantastic. So yeah, we can go ahead and arrange this betrothal now. Go ahead and send this off. Remember, this is the matrilineal marriage, so they will be of our dynasty. So let's send that off. And so now that they are married, uh, maybe we'll seek to remove the brother from the equation here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. Uh, so we'll attempt to assassinate him. We haven't done an assassination in a little while, so yeah. It's a 37% chance of success. Not very high. Uh, but we have the money to, to get ourselves some agents. So take a look and see who all we can hire. Alright, so we got her. 112, we'll hire her. And we'll see how much this guy wants. 55, not bad. And he increases the success chance by quite a bit. And yeah, we'll pay 68 for him. Alright, so we'll see how that looks now. Once all three of them accept. Alright, so they all accepted. And now we're at 95 95. Probably need, need to hire all those. Uh, but Adam just throwing gold around like it's, like it's nothing, man. Uh, so we finished up the port here. Excellent. Uh, let's go and get another building. So for this last one, we're going to do the barracks. I think the barracks is fitting with the blacksmith guilds. All right, uh, so this war's almost done, and then we won't have any of this down here anymore, confusing me and throwing me off. All right, but now they're getting back out. I mean, how, how expensive this war must have been for them. Just insanely expensive. He fought for a long time. He held out for quite a while. 
done a good job. Emperor Frederick just lost a war to our spy master, King Roger, uh, where he took a whole duchy here. So he extended the lands quite a bit. Now we have a weird county here in the middle uh, of our lands. But yeah, Duke, uh, or excuse me, King Roger has increased our overall lands. Good job, man. Again, I feel like it's okay to leave King Roger with the title. Uh, and I think we'll respect that. We'll leave him alive. We won't mess with him. We won't take his title. We won't do anything to him. But his son, on the other hand, well, we're not going to give him the same the same respect. Overly talkative. Right, so this is one of our agents. Uh, his ability to make friends has proven invaluable in my scheme, but he's not quite as careful around others as he should be. He is too fond of dropping vague hints, and if someone were to start asking questions, there's no telling what he would divulge. So we can say the things he learns are too valuable to shut him up. 58% chance the scheme will progress further. 41% chance it will be exposed, though. I think we should do this one. That scheme power is not that big of a hit. Yeah, I think that's the best option, honestly. Still at seven months, so it's not much of a problem. All right, so we got some meadows. The meadow here in London. Uh, so let's go ahead and again further upgrade. Let's do the uh, walls and towers, I suppose. Get that upgraded. Oh, we are broke. And we are flying through that money despite having a lot of it. And unfortunately, our plot has been discovered. Was it the same damn agent that... No, no, that's not the same agent. That's the guy we're attempting to kill here. It's still a decent chance of success, I mean, considering that it's been discovered. Uh, so we can take a look and see if anybody else is willing to join. They're not. All right, so that's unfortunate. Hmm. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Let's go to wherever he's at. And then let's get our spy master tasked to this. We'll send the king. We're going to send the king. That makes a lot of sense. We're sending the king to find secrets. Now, I guess technically he's not going there to find secrets. He's going to send agents over there. But it's just funny to have, like, the king of France here is on our council and has to do whatever we tell him to do. Uh, so we did get the claim there. Excellent. Uh, I don't know how much longer it'll be before we can declare war. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, we have the claim uh, in Scotland now. Uh, so let's go and take a look. We'll, we'll go and get him. Let's do this first. Get him going after something else. Uh, I want to claim here so we can continue expanding into Ireland. Uh, so let's go ahead and go after an Irish province, Irish county. And let's go and take a look and see when this is this uh, tr truce is over. 1174, so a little less than a year, and then we'll be able to declare war on Scotland again. Got our got to get our treasury sorted out before then. And, and given we have like so many prisoners here, that we could deal with. Is that war done with? So I can sell these guys? No. All right, we'll just wait until the war's done with, and then I'll I'll mess with all those, because it is just about done. All right, so I can't construct anything else over here. Uh, is that because we just don't have the money? Yeah, it's because we don't have the money. Just got to wait a bit. Out of all the tools we have, well, we actually can do this again. Uh, so let's go and extort our subjects one more time. And let's take a look at the factions. Lots of little factions here. Most of them are seems to be like, yeah, peasant populist rebellions here. This one here fires in, in 30 months. All right, so... What do we want to do this time? So I can say this is not a demand, but I do expect gifts. They even live by the mercy alone. So we could do that one. And that would drop all the hair pinions with us. We'd gain 30 dread from that. Don't really need the dread, but what would he do? I mean, I kind of feel like he'd say this one. Despite the fact that I, I don't know. I, I guess it is more beneficial because it does give you extra 200 gold. Yeah, I guess we'll go that one. I think that makes the most sense. All right, so now we have a little bit of money. Let's go ahead and spend it. Uh, see where those provinces was. I know that was one that we didn't build in. Here's another one. So yeah, I think this is the only one that needs to to get something. Let's go ahead and get the levy and grounds, the stone barracks improved. All right, excellent. So almost have our scheme done here with Earl Aubrey. I probably have to keep it going. Uh, and well, we don't really have. Okay, we have an 87% chance. That's not too bad. Um, that's Is that after we swayed him again? Yeah, 87%. We're, we're going to keep it going. He does still need a bit more swaying. He does not like us. Uh, and yeah, the scheme is just unfortunate. There, nothing here, guys. I just got to hope that we can find uh, some secrets when this when this completes. We need to get the Hunter's Lodge done. Okay. 
Uh, so it was here, I think it said. Uh, so let's go ahead and get one of these upgraded now. I guess we'll do. Yeah, we'll do the Hunter's Lodge again. Prove the, the light cap. Uh, one thing we could spend our money on is go ahead and get the next Men in Arms Regiment. Now, we have a couple choices here. Uh, we could get the Armored Horsemen because we don't have that yet. Armored Horsemen are fantastic, they have great uh, damage dealing potential. However, you guys have already seen like how big of a deal uh, having these makes. Uh, what are we currently working on? Let me just see. Working on Knighthood. Okay. Get that Knight Effectiveness up. Alright. So let's say we could do the Men in Arms or the Trebuchets. Uh, we won't be doing those anytime soon, so yeah, we could get this uh, unit here uh, because you guys have already seen just how fast uh, they are, and that'll allow us to have two armies walking around with these. And I think that's probably the best way to do it. We'll get the armored horsemen whenever we get a, another men in arms slot open up. Uh, so I was going to get these guys. I just think they'd be a little bit more useful in our particular circumstance. Uh, so where is this right here? Uh, so let's go ahead and tick them up, and we do have a lot of money. It's gonna about to, uh, you might as well just do them all, all the way up, so I don't have to come back to this. Although it looks like we are just short to get them up to the last size there. All right, so we'll come back to it once we get a bit more money. All right, so did he find any secrets? No, he did not. Keep it up, man. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna find any there, guys. Is this the only land that he has? Yeah, it's the only land that he's currently got. And, of course, this war here was lost. Uh, I, I think we should get some stuff from it. We'll take a look at it. Well, let me just move this. We'll take a look see what we got from this. And we had a, a good contribution towards it, so we still gained fame and opinion with the Duke, despite the fact that it was a, a loss. Uh, with the recent uprising among peasants, uh, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of the prince. With coin in the right pockets and agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot with the count, while the count is passing through the streets. That's well, something we haven't seen before in this uh, playthrough. Uh, so this is a new one. It just so happened that there there was an uprising in that county. Uh, so we could say that it's 28 percent chance of success, though, guys. It's just not not very good. Uh, we can say this is far too predictable, and we'll gain stress because we're impatient. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we have to do this even with the low chance of success. Whatever, we'll just fail. <laughs> oh, and he died. It actually worked. Uh, so I did it expecting, fully expecting to fail with the 28% chance, but it worked. He's dead, beat, and trampled by his own subjects. The agitated peasants went wild, seeing their liege riding through the streets and tore both him and several of his knights from their mounts, beating them to death. Many peasants were hanged, including my agitators, which means it cannot be traced back to me. All right, so we did it. I'm, I'm shocked, honestly, that that ended up working. Uh, so, yeah, he no longer needs to do that task there anymore. Got some ransom offers here. Um, she actually has the money now. I think I was holding on to her because she didn't have the money before. See, I don't know why we wouldn't accept that, so yeah, we'll take that. And then this is for one of her other, but yeah, she's going to have to decline that. She didn't have the money for that one. All right, uh, so we were able to complete that. And so if we were to take a look at how the succession looks, it does result in our son-in-law, and thus, hopefully, if they have some children together, this uh, entire title, the Kingdom of Hungary, will go into our dynasty, uh, which means we'll have the Holy Roman Empire uh, covered on three different sides here. We have uh, somebody from our dynasty in Verona, and then we'll have the, the Hungarians, and we'll have all of France here. Uh, so, almost completely surround the Holy Roman Empire, and I guess the only, if we wanted to completely surround them, we'd have to go here in Poland, and then maybe up here in, in Sweden, though there's really nobody dominating in Sweden right now. Uh, but yeah, we could we could do that, though, technically, if we wanted to. We'd try and get our dynasty on all around them, just completely surround the HRE. It'd be an interesting goal, I suppose. And I'm wondering what's happening with Lancaster here. Remember, she's in prison. She is facing a rebellion here. Uh, oh, she's a... Uh, never mind, it's not a rebellion. Uh, she's attacking the Duke Henry of Northumbria, and she's winning in an attempt to get Northumbria. We cannot allow that. Uh, again, we're probably going to have to force her to, to end this. This is not the first time we've had to do this. Uh, we've had to do this multiple times. Let's go ahead and send the demand in and see what she says. She, she shouldn't be able to say no. All right, so yeah, she, she did say... Uh, she did agree with us, and so we have a white piece here. We got a, a nice little 10 opinion boost uh, with the Duke Henry here. 
All right, awesome. So stop that conflict. You just gotta keep a, an eye on on Lancaster. They're just gonna continue to do this because they have that, that Duchy of Northumbria claim. And so I almost want to force her to, to give up the claim uh, and, and let her out. And then if we forced her to do that, she wouldn't have that claim no more. We wouldn't have to worry about this anymore. So that would be one option uh, that we could, let me just see here. Yeah, we've already revoked the title from her. So yeah, we don't want to revoke any more titles. Uh, but yeah, we could negotiate a release, and we could also demand her conversion, too. I mean, think about that fact. Who would take the... Okay, so her heir would take it, and so we'd still be sitting in the same situation, because she has a claim there, I think. Or maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's a press claim, so she would probably get it. Uh, so, so yeah, it would just be, you know, moving the, uh, the problem over to the the next character which we don't have in our prison so I think the better option would be to like renounce claims oh but we can't do the demand conversion on top of it hmm yeah that's unfortunate we'd have to pick one or the other yeah, I don't like that because yeah I would like her to convert I don't like the, the fact that this is uh she's not Catholic I, I suppose what we could do is I wonder if we can ask her to convert in here I don't know that you can. Because, yeah, we already did that. 1177 would be the next time to demand her conversion. All right, well, maybe we want to wait to deal with it until then. She won't be able to declare war for some time because of that uh, white piece. Uh, I don't know how long. We can take a look real quick, though. Until 1179, so, yeah, we could just wait until we can convert her, and then we can try and take her claim. All right, so the last thing we're going to do is look at how old King Roger is. He's 65 years old. And uh, again, his health is ailing. He's he's drunkard, and uh, let's see how much longer he lasts. And then I do expect we're gonna have a big war here in our territory over over all his uh, his titles. Uh, so we'll be doing that likely next episode. I'd expect he'll he'll die next episode. Our character is forty, so we just hit into his forties, uh, Emperor Adam, and uh, his son is about to come of age here in May. So just a couple more months. So let's see how that ends up going. Hopefully, he has a good education. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.